Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just thought I would share with you some of the latest UK crafting magazines because I know a lot of you like to see, you know, what's around. So some of you will already be familiar with this one because I actually shared it in a recent Facebook Live and this is the brand new Creative Stamping magazine. This is issue 84. And within this one here, you get this amazing, very large A4 stamp set. And for this one here, I made two of the Trifo cards and I used the Spitfire and all of the stamped images between the two cards they all got used and it's the latest well one of the latest videos now on the channel so if you haven't seen that one you can check it out and you can see exactly how those stamps look so it's really nice and you also get the Union Jack stencil there as well so that you know it all works really well together and then this is the magazine lots of inspiration in there as always you know, if you are someone that just loves stamping, creative stamping it has always been one of my favourite magazines and I've, you know, I used to subscribe to it and I have lots of their stamp sets. So yeah, it's a really fun one. You can just see at the top there, the lovely little bulldog and how that stencil looks. It looks really good. So uh, yeah, check out my latest last kind of tutorial video because that features that stamp set. So that's the issue 84 of creative stamping. Then I've also received the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials. So this is issue 187. And the free gift with this one here, I haven't even opened it, but it's this embossing folder, which is the, I think it's the Budlier, oh yeah, it says it there, Budlier. <laughs> so it's called Butterflies and Budlier right in front of me. So you've got this butterfly die there, and then you've got all the sentiments. I love a sentiment. It doesn't matter if it's even the same thing, because the fonts are always different. So it is nice to just kind of, you know, pull out different ones. So you've got Sending, All I Love. I like that one, Forever Friends. I don't think I've got one. And I used to be obsessed with Forever Friends when I was a young girl, and I even had the Forever Friends locket, which was a heart in in half and you gave one half to your best friend and I, I, I think I've still got that half somewhere <laughs> so yeah that's what that reminded me of then you've got get well soon enjoy your birthday that's really nice and you can see it's kind of like they've you know given you a suggestion there that you could have it towards the top right of that embossing folder so that's a nice free gift and then you have all of the inspiration I always do a feature in this one which is the um it's the shape up feature and some of you will be familiar with this card here so it was the twist and pop and I also done a smaller size there as well absolutely love that one it was using the honky dory birthday cake stamp set I can't remember the exact name that I used for that one but it is oh there we go it was a slice of happiness so for the the letter a I used that slice of cake love it really enjoyed that one and I've used the paper posies collection there by trim craft which I know many of you have so yeah that's the one I done there but there's also tons of other things now I also have been sent the simply lettering so I do get sent these magazines because I feature in a lot of them and obviously with my affiliation with craft stash they do kindly send them to me which is very nice and this is the Simply Lettering, and it's a funny one really because some of you may have heard me mention in numerous videos, but my handwriting is horrendous and I write in capital letters, which is terrible. And I did obviously once learn how to write properly and I did have nice writing in school to a degree, but it's something that's just, I don't know why I write in capital letters. And I've, I keep telling myself I have to almost relearn how to write again because I think that's the only way I'm going to get out of writing in capitals is to actually learn how to write again. So when this dropped through my door, I didn't expect it. And it has really made me think about my writing because I want to be able to create my own kind of, you know, beautiful script, maybe, you know, for, for stamping and just to ha be able to have nice handwriting in cards is something I would love to be able to do. So yeah, I've got this one here and you receive three um, coloured pencils, metallic ones. And I've actually already thrown them into my stash, I think, of my other coloured pencils. Oh, here we are. Look at that, just at reach. So these are them there, simply lettering. Yes, you get these three metallic pencils. So I love my coloured pencils. So I will definitely be using these, which is why I, I quickly put them away. So you've got those three and then you also have this here which is your lettering practice sheets so I haven't done any of it yet I need to sit down when I've got you know a good couple of hours and really kind of focus on all of this but you've got your practice sheets there it's ideal for brush pens you know actually learn to do the writing I mean I I guess doing the fancy writing is probably a bit advanced I just need to start learning to write normally to to start with but you've got all of your different practice sheets there I love all of this kind of thing um you know the the thin kind of light strokes up and then your heavy strokes down. I kind of, you know, I've got a, a very slight understanding of it, 
but it's something I really do want to, to focus on. So it's kind of like my own little personal goal this year. And there's some other templates for things going on as well. So yeah, if you are someone that's maybe a bit similar to me and you're kind of thinking, no, I could really do with doing that as well, then have a little look at the Simply Lettering. I mean, there's a lot of them. This one is 5 99 All of these are available online as well. So you can order them. So they're posted, you know, through your door. Um, I just always have adored all of the inspirations and stuff. I mean, there's more things there to teach you and inspire you. So yeah, I got that one through. So we will see, let's see what happens with this and let's see if it works. <laughs> so that's that one. And then also I received Card Making Paper Craft. So I do a feature for them every month and I will show you the ones in here because again, some of you will be familiar. And I think I had a new size as well. It's one of my favorite card styles to do. It is very popular on the channel and I will show you the free gift as well in a moment. Here it is here. So perfect points and it's the arrow fold cards. And I used a really nice collection from, it was the Heritage Collection from Maggie Holmes. And um, you can see the ones that I've made here. So I've done a five by seven, six by six, and then that's an A6 size. And you get the simple instructions there on how to make each one, but they are look, really lovely. Just that collection's lovely. Really, really is nice. Got top tips there for me as well. And then the free gift for this one is this here, which is a 3D shadow box card making kit. You get these really cute little stamps here. So you've got the cat on the swing, which can actually look like it's swinging within. If I bring that up there, I don't know how well you can see this one here I don't want to get too much glare on it but certainly for you to be able to see it you can see the box there and there's the cat on the swing kind of hanging down so yeah this is see what you can make and you've got enough in here to make it doesn't say how many but there's quite a few pages in there and I think one page is one card so one two three four five six seven possibly eight maybe it's there right in front of my face but I can't see but I think you've got eight and these are designed by Sally Mountain yeah it doesn't say anything on the back there but I think that's a really nice gift you know if you want to make sometimes it's good to if you need to just quickly kind of bulk out your stash of cards some of these pre-made ones where you've just got to pop everything out pop some glue on and, and get them together are quite good for that so uh, yeah if you're someone that enjoys those kind of cards or even if you're crafting with you know your children at the moment these are great ones because you don't have to worry about scissors and and kind of getting your dye machine out and all that kind of stuff it's all done there for you so I thought that was quite a sweet gift okay so that is just some of the latest magazines that are out and about at the moment i may have some more to add to this video but if not i will always share them when they do come through in another tutor in another video anyway and i'm starting to kind of use a lot of these products in my facebook live crafting so again if you are on facebook and you'd like to join in or just sit back and watch you don't have to interact with the group at all you might just want to enjoy it you know in your own kind of time so head over there and just uh, like the mixed up craft facebook page and you'll be able to join in all the fun so thank you for watching I'll be back very soon with another video and take care. Bye bye.